welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Couch Warrior, and this is Unbound Season 2 Let's Play. This video series is the companion to the Character Crusade Unbound podcast, and in each episode we explore Skyrim roleplay concepts and ideas through actual gameplay. <laughs> Season 2 of the podcast is called The Ghosts of Yore, and our character concept is Breezy Baudelaire, student of the Order of the Divine Scribe, who now finds herself here at the Mage College. She's been given uh, a dorm room, I guess. So, there she is. All right. Let's go down to walking speed here. Uh, so, as I, as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that is very important to Breezy and will be part of this story because she comes from the Order of the Divine Scribe, she has some training when it comes to things like writing and caring for books and research and stuff like that, okay? So the way I kind of envision this in my head is that um, the mages at the College of Winterhold love this exchange program, right? Because they can have students come from the Divine Order and these students are particularly good at scribe activities. They can transcribe uh, books and spell books and scrolls and things like that. And so the way I kind of envision it is that students who accept this exchange program quite often find themselves in situations where they're working in the Arcanium more than doing spell study. All right. So we have a couple of uh, mods that are going that are going in here um, that are also kind of particularly targeted at her use of books. One of those is um, a mod that makes any books that I don't have or haven't read yet glow, stuff like that. As I mentioned um, in the previous episode, um, some mods that have to do with um, crafting scrolls and spell books, stuff like that. Missing Apprentices. The college asks that everyone keep an eye out for the previous group of apprentices who has gone missing. As yet, no information has become available. If anyone has any information regarding uh, Isra, Illis Tai, Borvir, or Rundi, please speak to me at once. Huh. All right. Professors are looking for someone. Now, I have um, a lot of my HUD turned off, and I'm probably going to have to turn it on pretty soon. I just wanted to let you know kind of what was going on there. All right, so Breezy's got two things to do. She's got a class to get to, but she's also got a campus job. Imagine that. That's pretty lucky. I mean, if you've gone to a college campus that was near a single Starbucks, you know how hard it is to get a job at that Starbucks. So, uh, she's got a job uh, working in the Arcanium. But, as I mentioned before, that's kind of what's expected of these students who are coming uh, from the Order of the Divine Scribe, that they're going to put in some time uh, working for the Arcanium. So, we're going to report for class first. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not 
give us a chance to show you what we can do. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Hmm. I don't know. I think we should learn something practical. Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Uh, no, not really. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Right. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Okay, so we gotta find our ward. What is that? Look at that. We're learning already, damn it. Alright, you ready? Here comes. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing of wards, please. <laughs> she goes straight back I to her stance. We're I ready love that. To begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthol nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. Ah, ruins. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. <sighs> all right, well. That's good, because we got to check in at our job, so... You know, this is one of a very few places where you can receive a real education in the schools of magic. Hmm. I think my school's just fine. Wow, she's kind of silly. All right, we're going to go up to the Arcanium. And we're going to check in here. Ooh, hey, we don't have this one. What's that? Songs of Return. I'll have to get a library card. <laughs> all right. So, oh, look at all these unread books. Maybe that mod was a mistake. All right, this is our boss right here. Hey. Hello? Uh, reporting for work. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Jeez. Yeah, sure. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Uh, well, um, not exactly. I mean, uh, do you need some help around here? I mean, I'm, I'm here from the Order. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Of course. Immensely powerful mage, back in the First Era. Had an understanding of magic. Few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. All right. Uh, well, you obviously, uh, take your work very seriously. Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. 
Ah, research is something that we understand. It's quite impressive. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the second era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. All right. Well, this is interesting. Is there any college business I can assist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Oh, shit. All right, yeah. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. All right, we'll have to check that out. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, this is great. All right, so... We're a very lucky student to have, um, to have a job at the college bookstore. Those are hard to get, highly sought after. All right, well, let's go back to our room briefly. And then it sounds like we've got, uh, we've got a lesson we need to get to, but we're going to take a little pause here uh, at our room, just make sure that we're, we're ready to go. And then we'll head out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the HUD here. Uh, we can keep it just kind of light. All right, let's 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 take a look here at what I've got going. So, um, I've got a few spells here. I figured she would have some spells coming in, so I tried to pick ones I thought were reasonable. Uh, fast healing, she comes with healing. Uh, she has healing hands is the spell that she had to purchase to get past Feralda to get in in the first place. And lesser ward, that is the one that we just got from Tolfdir. Okay. Uh, the other one that's interesting here is Mystic Wind, and I talked about this one earlier. This is one that I think is kind of fun and, and will be really kind of, I think, cool to attribute to her affinity towards wind magic and this whole idea of speed. So that, that one, I think, is going to be particularly cool. Now, it doesn't help us a lot yet because, honestly, anything that is a novice-level spell, we can pretty much cast indefinitely, which is kind of an amazing thing when you think about this ward, right? Um, being able to just spam on the ward... All, all of a sudden changes the entire dynamic of how, how you function in combat. So that is going to be kind of fun to experiment with. Um, on, the, on the destruction side, we've got a wind rune, we've got gust, and gust is kind of the equivalent of your basic flame spell, but with wind. And then crackle, this one's kind of fun. Um, just, you know, a static cloud that follows the target around and shocks them <laughs> periodically. Um, this one I picked specifically because I felt like one of the things that we talked about with her background is that she has she has performed some savage pranks on people. And this kind of seems like a prank type of spell. A little cloud that floats over the head of someone she doesn't like that shocks them periodically. That is a savage prank if I've ever heard one. So, um, yeah, that's where that comes from. And then uh, Drop Zone, I, I took jo Drop Zone because I felt like she would have enough command of the winds to be able to kind of break her fall. Uh, face Light, these are just um, things I'm using to light her face. Um, Fortify Hedge Mage Armor, for those of you who are speculating about the armor that she's wearing, it is the Hedge Mage Armor. The Hedge Mage Armor comes with its own system for upgrading the armor. If I find the right ingredients, then I can cast the Hedge Mage Armor spell, and it improves the quality of the armor over time. So, the cool thing about that, of course, is that it allows me to improve the protection of the armor without having to spend countless hours in smithing. Now, I probably am going to still spend time in smithing, for sure. 
But this is kind of a magical way to do it, which I think is pretty cool. And to me, that is a that is a wonderful thing, right? Because so often I've wanted to play mages but hated wearing robes. And as soon as you get out of the category of wearing robes, you end up stuck with kind of just, you know, light armor with whatever enchantments you can put on it. This is kind of a nice happy medium. So that's what that is. All right. Uh, and then the other one I took here was Long Stride. That allows her to run faster. That kind of fits, I think, with the theme of having the wind at her back. So I grabbed that one as well. And then Okado's Recital. Uh, I have bagged this one early on. I don't really consider it to be a spell. I think of it more as a utility. And we'll be using it later on as we kind of go through things. All right. All right. So... Severe hunger, thirst, and fatigue. So we need to take a nap before we go on our field trip. Well, let's see. It's 11.30 p.m. No way are they going in the middle of the night, right? Um, 132, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 30. 7.30, we've got uh, maybe roughly an hour walk game time. So we'll say it's an 8.30 class. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see if we've got any food. Ooh, not much. Worker loaf. Oh, some cheap wine for breakfast. Perfect. All right couple other items of interest here that, that you might find interesting. The Hedge Mage Hood I am not using. So she is not going to have a complete set of light armor, which could bite us in the ass for a little while until we get to a point where we can take the perk that allows us to benefit without the hood. And part of the reason for that is because that hood clips with circlets, and I simply wanted her to wear a circlet. So I had to find a workaround, and that was my workaround. So, and, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So she's wearing kind of mixed armor. Three pieces of light armor, and then the hood is considered robes. Um, I can probably find a light armor hood mod as well, but I'm not too concerned about it at the moment. All right, I'm going to turn the game sound down just a little bit here. When these winds get whipping... It's crazy. All right. Now, she does have a backpack and full travel gear that I'm saying that she had with her as, as part of her trip here. But she doesn't need it to go to this class. It's kind of like a day trip. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Now, the other thing that I did, which I'm kind of just excited about, is I introduced... Uh, I introduced into my mod lineup this time around. Obviously, the the mod that makes the the signs blow in the wind, but also a mod that makes all the trees and the grass blow in the wind. And I thought, boy, that'd be kind of cool if I'm, you know, we're talking about wind magic and breezy and all this stuff, and we just had an environment where the trees move in the wind and stuff like that. It also, I think, is going to have some impact on the wind sound effects. So um, I'm just turning things down a bit just in case it gets bananas. All right, let's take a real quick look here. I'm interested in making sure that... Let's add this to our lineup. I'm, I want to try the ward. Now, I don't have that hotkey, do I? But we're going to hotkey it. We're going to use this for two. So her primary weapon right now is going to be Gust. So we can go Gust, and then Shield in the left. Right? All right. All right, now... I'm going to figure out how to get to our first... first class here.
That's kind of cool. Gust is cool because it, it does damage just like fire or frost. But it also has a chance to throw your enemies, which I think is kind of fun and makes sense. Now, you, you may have also seen when she went into combat that something kicked off. There was kind of a blue swirling. What that is, is I'm using, uh, I've used Okado's Recital with the Mystic Wind spell. So when she goes into combat, Mystic Wind automatically kicks off. Now that would be handy, I mean, if she used up all of her Magicka, that would be handy because she could just start sprinting around her enemies or around the battlefield and be recharging her Magicka while she did it. But in this particular case, Gust is a novice spell, and so she is not burning any Magicka when she uses novice spells, which is kind of a cool deal as well. And I think that's part... That's part of the prodigy story that we're trying to tell here. We're trying to say that Breezy is here for a reason, and she's special. She's got some capabilities that other people don't have, and she has only just begun to explore what her own capabilities are. So, the fact that she can just do this forever and no one else can, that is something that she doesn't realize is special yet, but that she will come to realize is special as she gets further into her adventures. All right, I'm here. Last one. Gosh. I'm not so sure we should be here. What are you talking about? I'm in this class. Oh, I see. You're elitist. Is that it? Because I'm not I'm from this not college? So sure we should be here. Please. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? I'm ready. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Better to be cautious. Ooh, I don't like this guy. You're on my list, pal. Prick. He's gonna get pranked. All right. Let's do this. Now we're inside. You know, I try to think about everything with these characters. And even her hairstyle, I put some thought into because... I figure as a person who's got innate abilities with wind magic, she's constantly frustrated with the condition of her hair because she can never keep it nice because it's always getting blown and whipped around and stuff. So she gives up on it and she puts it in these really horrible looking buns that aren't even even or symmetrical and she doesn't care. That's kind of her thing. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Uh, I don't know. What's so important about this place, anyway? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Uh, okay. All right, so what, what are we looking for? What are we studying? Anything. anything. Anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way, my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few students, that would be a happy coincidence. Yeah. I don't know. Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, mm -hmm. the class can look it over. Really? Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? It's kind of running Even fast and loose with the Why syllabus, don't you, don't you think? Magics. Anything designed to keep people out. Don't interact with them. Just identify them. On the Please search that area wow. over there. See if you notice any residual energies. Alive or undead. It is. Gisardo, what shall we have? House is creepy, huh? Arneal Gain, he must be a professor. Oh my god. Alright. Well, so we're gonna make our way down there.
Now, I gotta say, Breezy is gonna be one of these people. And I, I don't know if you're one of these. I was never one of these kind of people. The people who are obsessed with the class syllabus. Are we following the syllabus and what's going to be on the test? That's all they ever care about and they continuously ask about it. She's one of those annoying people. But her reason for that is because she doesn't want to do any more work than she has to to pass these courses. So... Well, certainly none of this will benefit my research. Uh, yeah. I'm supposed to help you with something. Project? What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, alright? We don't want to damage anything. All right, uh -huh. let's find some stuff. Uh, let's see. Firstly... Ah. Book light. Ooh. Hey, I found something. Ooh, I found another something. Hey, what's this? Oh, soul gems. We know what those are. Careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. Right, right, right. Uh... Ooh, hey. That's kind of pretty, right? Oh, shit. Uh, hey. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? Well, yeah, but I'm stuck here. How in the world did that happen? I just, I pulled this amulet off the wall. Really? Yeah. Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. You think? Is there some way you can use it? I don't know. For what? All right, well, let's see. What do we call this thing? It is the Sarthal Amulet. There we go. Do you see that? What? Some kind of resonance. You and the wall. Ooh. It must be connected to the amulet. Whoa! Oh, hey. This spell's powerful. <laughs> well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. There are skulls everywhere. Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? I don't know. You're the professor. Oh. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. What? You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. Ugh. I came all this way to stop from being judged. I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? Well, uh, some sort of ghost or apparition appeared and I'm spoke to me. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Well, I did. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Uh, sure. Well, uh, well, about six foot three, uh, robe. Looked like it was maybe, uh, I don't know, earth tones? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? I'm not sure about well, anything, any God. Sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins, and no one's seen any of their order in a long time. 
Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do oh, be careful. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Who knows what we're going to find? Right. Take care now. Uh, look in the coffins? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is, is someone there? Okay. Hey, hey, what what are these? All right, she would be kind of completely blown away, but not so much that she wouldn't go through their pockets. Um She is a poor college student after all. Hang on. And as we mentioned earlier, she spent all of her tuition for next semester on travel expenses to get here, so she is completely broke. This is simply fascinating. Hey, wow. Is that one of those armor spells? Wild. Be prepared to defend yourself. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh. There we go. All right. We need to ask this guy some questions. What is this? I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why just look at all these coffins? This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while and examine this. You, however, should press on. See if you can find whatever this vision of yours mentioned. But if it is truly dangerous, be careful. Go on ahead. I'll be sure and catch up with you before long. Ugh. All right. Be prepared to defend yourself. Oh, I'm prepared. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Careful. Oh, see that? Oh. Woo. Hang on, hang on. A little too close. Whoa. Okay. What do you got in your breeches? Gold. Gold in your breeches. We'll take it. She is flat broke. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's let's try something else from the repertoire. I don't know what I have hotkeyed here, so Ooh, I don't have enough magic I gotta use that one. Ah. Ooh, he's tougher. He's definitely tougher. All right. Ooh, hey. 
There are things here we might want. Don't really need skulls. So we'll leave those behind. Oh boy, this is great. At this rate, I'll have enough money for next semester's tuition and to go home if I feel like it. But probably not gonna feel like it. All right, what's in these? What is in these? Do I dare look in? Wait a second. There's loot in these. And it's fine to take, as long as the professors don't catch you. No worries there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, ow! That was no good. Okay, lesson learned. Swear to God, boy, her, her movement rate is quick. Like, there are times when it's just... It's almost hard... She's so quick. It's hard to control her in like a casual type of setting, right? Ah ha ha. See? Sometimes the spells do 50% more damage, which I like when they do 50% more. That's great. Junk. Let's get rid of that. Oh, wait. Well. Simple, right? Now I'm thinking about the fact that she she goes and she she talks to the to the grumpy orc at the college bookstore. And the first job that he gives her is not like dusting the shelves or sorting the books or, you know, anything like that. It's basically go out into Skyrim and find these missing books. She's going to be thinking about that and thinking, oh, that's awesome, right? I get to get out of this boring place. I can go out into Skyrim. I can explore. And nobody's going to bitch at me about it, right? So the question becomes then... Just, you know, thinking about her reaction to that, how does that affect her just in terms of her studies? What suddenly becomes priority? And as a person who is looking to prove herself constantly and show that she's capable, my guess is that a scenario like that would be very attractive to her because not only can she cut class, but she can cut class being fully authorized to do so while making some extra money. Oh, while making some extra money and learning some stuff, seeing Skyrim, having adventures. Oh, ow. Ah ha ha. Levels. Ooh. Come on. Let's use our mobility, right? There you go. Crusty undead bitch. Give me your gold. All right. What's that? Eee. 
satanic toenail trimmer. Not interested. What's in here? Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna. Alright. Nothing. Ah, look at this. Anything else down here? Anything we missed? Fishy, right? Oh, look at this. Let's stand back a little further than we did last time. Uh huh. Hmm. A piercing. Ooh, mass paralysis. We could write that into a spell book and learn it. We would never be able to cast it yet. But she has the expertise to, to do it. Anything else? No. Oh, no. I hate this one. This could take me a minute. I gotta remember how to solve this one. I feel like a lot of times I I get the I understand how it works mechanically, but I feel like a lot of times I solve it by sheer dumb luck. Um Oh you bastard. Okay, and then okay, so that one Okay, so what you got going on here next is a snake. Next is the whale. Next is, I'm gonna turn this one, damn it. Um, okay, this one first. Okay, next up is that. And this one we wanna, Okay, so, on the next rotation, this one will be a snake. On the next rotation, that will be a whale. On the next rotation, that will be a burb. And the next rotation, this will be a whale. So if I'm correct, I think this one rotates all of them, doesn't it? Uh-huh, huh? Right? Snake, whale, whale, bird. Breezy's way smarter than I am. She figured it out. All right. <laughs> Extra credit. What? Fine. As soon as I solve the puzzle. Hey, a book. Take that. Hmm. Oh. So I haven't been looking in these urns at all. Just so you know. That would be disrespectful. Um, all right. Let's do it. I am. Whoa. I never am. I'm looking at that. Yeah. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, that does not feel good at all. Where is it? Haha, <laughs> now you're down. Take the full brunt. Ha, there we go. Got to take advantage of that knockdown. Hmm. Writ of ceiling. That would be interesting. To research. What is it? Uh, what could this place be? Uh, I don't know. Do you know what this is? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabo Saren of this discovery? Please, hurry. All right. I suppose. Wow. It makes you kind of feel to defend yourself. all tingly when you're close to it. Okay, I'm just going to have a look around here quick. Look at this. Oh, he's completely absorbed. Let's take it. Uh, we better not take anything else he might notice. Let's get out of here quick before he says we can't have this staff. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Is Breezy the Dragonborn? This makes the chances a little bit better. Just so you guys know, I did use Unbound, and I said... I set totally random the Dragonborn ability. So she just learned a word of power, which totally makes sense, given the fact that she's a researcher and she's doing the whole divine scribe thing and all that business. Aha, cool. Now, we'll see. I mean, we'll find later on. Find out later on if she can absorb a dragon soul, then we know for sure that she's the Dragonborn. But right now, there's at least a better chance if you remember from Unbound Season 1, we also selected random in that category, and Raid Raiden was not the Dragonborn. In fact, he couldn't even read word walls. So he was the furthest thing from the Dragonborn. But Breezy's got a shot. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to bring us to the end of this episode. Let me take care of the formalities here, and then what we're going to do is take a short break, and we'll come back and record another one, all right? That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for checking it out. If you'd like to get involved and play along with us, check out unbound.charactercrusade.com for all the current play rules. You can join the discussion with other players by joining our Discord community at discord.charactercrusade.com. You can find Character Crusade Unbound Podcast on iTunes and YouTube and Stitcher, by the way. We uh, also have live streams of all of our episodes. Visit youtube.charactercrusade.com to join the adventure and go to charactercrusade.com website for a schedule of all of our upcoming podcast live streams. Thank you all very much, and I will see you in the next episode.